everyone and welcome back to the AMAC and good afternoon to you and on this Sunday afternoon on Resurrection Sunday we're going to have a special devotional reading from Revelation 1.18 and it begins, I am the living one, I was dead and Behold, I am alive forever and ever. Revelation 1.18 Flowers, Easter lilies, speak to me this morning. The same sweet lesson of immortality. You have been speaking to so many sorrowing souls for years. Wise old book. Let me read again in your pages the steady assurance that to die is gain. Philippians 1.21 Poets, recite for me your verses that resound the gospel of eternal life in every line. Singers break forth once more into hymns of joy. Let me hear again my favorite resurrection songs. Trees, blossoms, and birds, and seas, skies, and winds. Whisper it, sound it anew, sing it, echo it. Let it be and resonate through every atom and particle on earth and let the air be filled with it. Let it be told and retold again and again until hope rises to become conviction and conviction becomes the certainty of knowing. Let it be told until, like Paul, even when we face our death, we will go triumphantly with our faith, secure and peaceful, and radiant expressions on our face. And here is a little point that goes with our Resurrection Sunday greeting. O oh, sad face mourners, who each day are windy through churchyard paths of Cyprus and of you. Leave for today the law graves you are tending, the low graves you are tending, sorry, and lift your eyes to God's eternal blue. It is no time for bitterness or sadness. Choose it Easter lilies, not pale as affodels. Let your souls thrill to the caress of gladness. The answer and answer the sweet chime of Easter bells. If Christ were still within the grave's low prison, a captive of the enemy we dread. If from the rotting cell he had not risen, who then could drive the gloomy tree's tears you shed? If Christ were dead, there would be no need for sorrow, but he has risen and vanquished death today. Hush then your sighs, if only till tomorrow. At Easter, give your grief a holiday. May Riley Smith. A well-known preacher was once in his study writing an Easter sermon with this thought, when this thought gripped him. My Lord is living with excitement. He jumped up, paced the floor, and began repeating to himself, Christ is alive. His body is warm. He is 
not the great I was, but the great I am. Christ is not only a fact, but the living fact. He is this glorious truth on Easter Day. Because of that truth, an Easter lily blooms and an angel sits at every believer's grave. We believe in a risen Lord. So do not look to the past to worship, only at his tomb. Look above and within to worship the Christ who lives. Because he lives, we live. Abbot Benjamin Vaughn. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And I hope you have all had a wonderful resurrection weekend. And stay tuned, we are going to try to do another reading for Resurrection Sunday. And as always, and until we meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.